Hello, today's class is on solids of rotation. That is, a solid of rotation is the three-dimensional object formed by rotating a two-dimensional area around an axis. Sounds a little bit complicated, not so difficult. For example, one example is a sphere. That is a solid sphere, like a jawbreaker or something like that. A solid sphere looks like this. But we could form it by rotating a semicircle, a two-dimensional thing, around this axis. Imagine that this is a length of coat hanger straightened out, and this piece of firm cardboard was taped to it. And we rotate around really, really quickly. It's going to swing all the way around, and we will see this sphere up here. It's a solid of rotation. It's a solid formed by rotating. Anyway, other examples. A cone. A cone can be formed, well, let's say, let's say we rotate a triangle. If we rotate a triangle around a particular axis, flip, 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 it will form, well, it certainly has that triangle at one point. When it swings over to the other side, it will be this, and as it swings around, it will form roundness. It will form a cone. There's all sorts of things in real life that you'll see like this, like maybe the end of a bedpost, if you have some sort of ornamental bedpost. You could sort of imagine, you can sort of imagine that if you, right down the middle, it has this cross-section. What would its cross-section look like? It would look something like whoomp, whoomp, like this. And if you rotate that area around this axis, here's the axis, here's the area, and here is the solid of rotation. I'm going to bring in, I, I had some professional development money and I spent a whole whopping $10 at the party store the other day and I've got these cool things that are solids of rotation. Uh, the most important one for now is the cylinder. And I want you to know that a cylinder with a radius of R and a height of H, the volume is pi r squared h. I like to think of this as sort of, this is also known as a prism, sort of a circular prism. A prism is anything that goes straight up and down from a base. Like if you had a square base and you went straight up and down from it, it doesn't even have to be a square, if you had a rectangular base, you would end up with some sort of box. A box is a rectangular prism. And uh, the cool thing is, if it's, um, it has a width and a length and a height, the volume is length times width times height. It's, if you think about it, um, for both of these, the volume is the area of the base times the height because in fact that height is just going straight up or straight down however you want to look at it anyway uh, <clears throat> we are going to use this formula to find the volumes of solids of rotation that in a little bit of calculus and I will show that formula in the next video